In this segment of All About Canadian Books, I have the lovely Lily Sultani with me. She is the author of Zulika. And I don't know about you, but anytime I read a book, I love to know what the story behind it is. What inspired the author? Was it a character? Was it the setting? And Lily is going to tell us the inspiration behind her book. The inspiration behind Zuleha is my birthplace. The main inspiration is that Abadan uh, is a city in the south of Iran, located in a province called Huzastan. And uh, this province uh, has, a, is a, they has, there are some special things in this um, setting or this uh, um, place. Um, and that is because um, of a few reasons. And one of the most important reason is that it holds uh, um, major majority of the oil reserves of Iran. And so it's strategically very important for Iran and uh, also the world. Um, it uh, brings wealth to Iran and it also brings troubles as well. And uh, and that's, and the location of this province, the city of Abadan, the, it's very near or in proximity of um, the um, Persian Gulf countries, uh, such as Iraq. And um, when Saddam Hussein was in power, his eyes was always in Iran's oil and Khuzestan. And when he invaded um, Huramshar, and Khuzestan, a part of Khuzestan, um, that, that part of Iran was impacted the most. And um, these are, and wh why I'm inspired by these, because I'm from that, I was born in, in Abadan. And even though I was raised in Tehran, and, um, but we always uh, went to visit for spring break, sometimes in summer times, to, to visit my family, my, my uncle, my my aunts. And as a child, and then later on as a teenager, I feel like I was an observer. And I observed the difference between them, their lifestyle, and how we lived in Tehran, the class differences. So, and then when I learned more that um, about um, the British, um, colonizing uh, that part of the country uh, when they, they discovered the oil in there and how they built uh, a section of the, um, the city for uh, the nat senior national um, oil company, which is very glamorous. And I think that you will feel it in the book yeah. when you read it. And then there was another part of the city from stop one to stop two, 12, that they were not that, they were you know, like belong to the workers and other service providers in, in, in the city. Um, so I observed all these and um, I carried with myself all these memories, good memories of my childhood in um, with uh, my fa families. And then I lived in there right before the war happened. And um, my life, changed with that war and uh, so all of these kind of became in my mind um, like a setting or um, of a, a story that I wanted to tell one day and my daughter and we, we moved to Canada uh, in 1995 and my daughter was becoming a Canadian being far from that um, part of the far from the origins and I always wanted her to know to know where we are from what uh, how what are who our ancestors were who how the war impacted our lives and uh, so that's that was also the reason for me to all, all together to sit down and write this <laughs> well Lily how long did the book kind of sit with you before you sat down and started to write? So the, the beginning of the story was long, long time ago. But when I started 
writing it is 12 years ago. Like, well, I think it was around 2008, nine that I thought this is bothering me. Like I, I have to sit down and write it. I'm just thinking about it all the time. And yeah. uh, so I have to do something about it. Uh, and then, uh, so I, I think it was um, when I was going to Iran actually, and I had a connection in um, Amsterdam, not Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Frankfurt airport. And then suddenly I thought about that scene, the first scene. And uh, that's how it was <laughs> kind of, I gave birth to this, uh, the beginning of the, the no novel. How wonderful. And, and if I may ask, what does your daughter think of your book? Oh, I she read she read the previous uh, draft. It was a lot longer, <laughs> and she loves it. She loves it, and she is very supportive of me. Yes, 